Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. So today I do have a bit of a decor haul for you and you're probably like, girl, stop. And I'm like, yeah, but the deals. Anyways, so I'm gonna go through all of this. So this is probably gonna be a little bit longer because quite honestly, like it's piled up here and I need to get it out and put away. And I really wanna finish decorating for fall today and get it done and everything else packed up, put away. So for those of you who are new here, thank you so much and welcome to Confident Notions. I am Laura and tend to do a lot of hauls and rambling about a lot of different things and my great love for black nail polish because damn, this looks good on camera. Mm. It's fall. <laughs> so yeah, so... <laughs> Anyways, if you're not a subscriber, I would super love to have you here. So please hit that like button, that subscribe button. That would be amazing. And for those of you who are subscribers, yay, y'all are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. I got a lot of different things here. I do have a haul here from LTD Commodities, as well as some stuff from Target and a couple, a little bit of Hobby Lobby. I do the Hobby Lobby first. I got a lot of greenery at Hobby Lobby because I needed to put some greenery on the mantle in the fire on the fireplace and I wasn't sure what I wanted so I got a couple of things so the first thing I picked up I did get two of these this lamb's ear garland garland was not on sale this particular week specifically but this here it's his and hers garland, I think it's part of like the wedding collection, and this was 50% off. So this one here, it's a nice six foot lamb's ear garland. I got it for 10 bucks. I did get two of them, and the other one is currently downstairs on my mantle. In addition, over there in the his and hers section, that there was a tag, I'm gonna take the tag off. I got two of these, right? No, maybe not. I just got one of these then. So this here looks like a eucalyptus -y boxwood. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit fuller than the lamb's ear one. And again, this was 50% off for 10 bucks. And I thought for $10, that was some nice greenery. You know what I mean? Moving on. I also picked up two, well, actually one of these. This is a candle holder, again, that his and hers. <clears throat> this was um, $5.99 and then on sale for half price, so three bucks. And then I also got this candle holder, candle ring, right? So this year, $6.99, so $3.50. Um, also in that lamb's ear stuff. And I think I got two of these. I did get two of these, but I already have one of them set up. No, yes, no. I don't know. I did get two of these. Maybe not. It might be in that bag. So I got two of those as well. Part of the reason why I did pick up two is because I think they look super cute on like the candle holders, right? Um, and I was looking for this here. So they are calling this table decor. I think they're calling it a cake stand. I do not call this a cake stand. So um, I have... I think it's a little bit bigger than that and I wouldn't put, just me, I wouldn't put cake on wood. Call me crazy. I got plenty of actual cake stands. So anyways, this here, this is clearly not big enough, but like if you get the, the gist here, so like a bigger one it sits on top and then you got a thing in it. Right, so that's essentially what I did with the black one and that I have downstairs is I have uh, that lamb's wreath ear wreath on top and then a candle it's not a candle i have a pumpkin on top of that on a pedestal looks adorable i might do a fall to call fall decor walkthrough but after i get this dang house back up on the market i have a gaping hole on my back porch well not on the porch it's on the deck where the hot tub got pulled out which is fine they went like underneath the hot tub. It was like some of the wood was not great under there. And they're like, oh, you got to like fix this. And then my husband's like, I'm pretty sure there's a leak in the hot tub. I'm like, oh shit. Well, I have to fix the hot tub. And then we're like, it's cheaper just to pull it out and then redeck it and pretend it wasn't there. Okay. That was all my Hobby Lobby. Next up. Moving on to Target. 
because I went to the dollar spot at Target. Should I create one? No, thanks, Alexa. Hey, okay. By the way, your voice is new to me. It would be nice to learn your name. Should I do that? Later, Alexa. Okay, that was weird. Well, scared the poop out of me. <laughs> so I went to Target to the dollar spot, which is not necessarily a dollar spot. And it was either picked over or they hadn't put out the stuff yet. I don't know at this point. Like around here, like I'm convinced that they didn't start putting out the Halloween stuff or any like the fall fall stuff until like it hit September 1st. And then you look at this video you'll be like, Lara, it's like September 23rd. What are you talking about? I'm like, look, you know, I, I record these in advance. Okay. But this is timely. So I'll put this out sooner rather than later. Anyways. So I picked up this and I thought this was so stinking cute. Again, Target. This was five bucks, but I just love the whitewashed look of it. This is actually like this is actually grooves in here, like cut out. And then it's got, I mean, it's, you know, press board, but it's a pretty thick press board with a sawtooth hanger on it. But I thought this was super cute. I think you could use this on the wall. You can put some embellishment on it. You can slap up like a thankful, grateful, blessed, whatever. Those, one of those three, they seem to pop up everywhere. Right. I know it's so funny. I said, I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like that. And then you're like, Girl, you've been talking like for three weeks, months about how you don't like farmhouse. Now all of a sudden everything's black and white. I like black and white. Okay. And plants apparently. More so plants I can't kill. Therefore greenery. All right. Also at the old dollar spot at Target, I picked up this is, look at that. It's peel and stick vinyl for my cricket. So you get, um, this is not a great deal. So this is, I'm sure this is repositionable, right? Yeah. Peel and stick vinyl. It doesn't say, I'm sure this is not permanent. Anyways, it was three of these for a dollar. And then you get orange, <clears throat> black glitter, and then the orange plaid, which is cute. That's cute. It's cute. I was like, ooh, $3. Cause you know, like the cricket stuff will run you more. Then also at Target, would you look at this? How uh, friggin' adorable is this? It's like a little theater. It says potions, brews, and elixirs. And I was like, oh my God, this thing is $5. I am dying. Do you wanna see, wait, do I have it handy? Shoot, when I do that haul. I got some, um, let me rummaging over here. Oh, wait, here it is. I got a lot to haul. I got a lot to haul. So look, I got these at the Dollar Tree, these skeletons. And it says skeleton garland, and I'm not about to use these on like a garland. I don't know. I'm still trying to sell my house, so I can't have like a skeleton garland. But anyway, these little dudes have like bendy limbs, right? Kinda, well, at least their legs do, but not their arms. Anyways, look, look, y'all, look, look, look. You can't see anything, but see my amusement. Look at this. So I was like, yeah, I get these little skeletons and they can, oh my God, they, they're sitting here great. That's gonna happen. I don't know what, but that's gonna happen. This and these skeleton are gonna happen. But I thought this was for $5. Or if you've got a goth kid, right? Or if you were a goth kid, can you just imagine and you put like all of your like little spooky friends in here and just play in your spooky place? Ah, I'm dying, I'm dying. So for $5, this little vignette was, vignette, it's probably not the right word, anyways. I think this is so ridiculously adorable. You can put little potions in here. Oh, the Dollar Tree po- oh, You can put those bottles in there, those little potion bottles, and then the uh, skeletons, drinking them. Oh my God. This might be the one piece of Halloween decor, cause like, I don't wanna scare away any like, God 
if you're in house buyers. I'm like, last thing I want is somebody to walk in and be like, ooh, girl, Satan's here. And I'm like, hey, you know, Satan is just a little bit Halloween, you know, because we <laughs> want to sell the house. So we'll keep it on the campy side of Halloween, not the, oh my God, I, I, <laughs> I need a priest side. <laughs> Anyways, this is not spooky related, but these here, these were wood risers at the doll at, at Target spot. And then you got two of these for $5. And look, look, you get two of these. And I thought that was such a great deal. Like, especially if you want to add some height to your like decor stuff. So they had these in different colors. They had this darker wood color, they had white, and then they had something else that I didn't care about. But I thought for five bucks, these risers were a really great price. You know Hobby Lobby gonna charge you more than that. Okay. Then the last for the Target stuff. Spooky pumpkins, spooky, spooky pumpkins, spooky pumpkins. I love this one. Would you look at this? It's got freaking greenery and orangery and purplery and bones. It has bones on it. There are there are femurs. Anatomy, I don't know if it's a femur. I have a business degree. Um, I teach salespeople how to sell stuff. <laughs> Healthcare worker, I am not. God bless all of you because y'all got a heart of gold that I don't have. Um, anyways, so look, it's like bones and I was like, ah! And then this one is like a velvety pumpkin. And I'm like, yeah. And then this one here, would you look at this one? It's got skulls and it's got like ravens and it's got candy. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Look at this one, dying, love this. So I was super stoked and these were a dollar and these were the only three designs that they had. And I was like, I can't find this damn buffalo pad plaid ones at Dollar Tree, but by God, I can get some spooky ass pumpkins at Target. That's going to be the title of this. That's going to be the title of this, um, this video. It's called Get You Some Spooky Ass Pumpkins from Target. I know. Laura, why isn't your channel growing as much? Because you can't stop saying ass. Right? Right. Do you know the weirdest thing? I swear to God, like my face looks thinner some days than others. It's like the weirdest thing. Like the last couple videos I filmed, I'm like, damn girl, you need to like get you on some diet or something. Today I'm like, oh, I look pretty good. Never know, never know. Okay, I'm gonna get through a couple more decor pieces. Did Morgan bend this? I can't tell. Anyways, so I picked this up off of, it was a web, it's like a Facebook group and I can't remember, it's called like decor something or other. And I will tell you, so she did ship this out. I would tell you it is a little, it was probably a little more than I should have spent on it. But I thought it was super cute. And it is a good size, right? So this here I thought would be adorable, not necessarily for fall. I think this is going to get packed away. And I thought we could just put like some moss down at the bottom. And then depending on the season, you can put like crap in there, right? So I don't know. I feel this might be more like a springy summer piece. Um, rather than like caging up some snowflakes in here. So I think this was super cute. I think it is. This is the lady, I don't know if I talked about this one before, but this is the lady, like it's her site and she does like auctions and sometimes she sells like stuff from Dollar General and she like ups the price on it. And I'm like, I got that at Dollar General. So I look at this and I'm like, did she get this at that? No, she didn't get this at Dollar General, but I am not here to begrudge you, try to make a couple bucks off of something. So you go girl. I thought that was a fairish price. I don't have it it's downstairs so i think i told you about like my hunt for like tobacco <clears throat> baskets we were at the like i made kevin go to the flea market yesterday and it's the flea market at, at like the the state fairgrounds here there weren't a lot of people out i think it just recently reopened but anyways i got this enormous enormous tobacco basket and i don't think it's like it was used like i don't think it's like an old tobacco basket um but you know, I've been like watching YouTube videos on like people at flea markets. And so I was all like, what you getting on this? You know? And he's like $15. And I'm like, especially cause I've seen them like at Kirkland's for like smaller ones for like $74. And this man's like old man from the backwoods in North Carolina. He's like, well, miss, I'm getting uh, you know, 15 on this. If you won't get 15, I'm like, got jeans for 20. 
moving into my LTD collection. So I got this from LTD Collections, and this is, um, again, a chicken, sorry, a chicken wire cloche. This might be a little more rustic-y than I intended, but I thought it was a really good price. This was $18.99 on the LTD Commodities website, and I thought that was a really good deal. So again, I feel this is more springy almost that you would put like I don't know, a chicken wire. I just feel like I need to put a chicken in there. Not a real one. And there was this brief period of time where my husband was like, wouldn't it be cool if we had chickens? Let's move this over here. And then I could just like walk outside and get eggs and take them in and make them in the morning. And I was like, mm. 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 Like for those of you who have chickens, like I'm super jealous. And I would love to buy your eggs, but I don't want to care for chickens. I just feel like they make a lot of poop. They make a lot of poop, and then you got to clean up a lot of poop. And I'm not into that, but I am into having eggs. So, however that happens. All right. Some of these things are open and some of these things are not. So... I also did get from LTD Commodities. This is a garland on a burlap thing. I thought I got two of these, but I guess not. And this here. Oh! Oh, there's two a piece. Thank God. Oh, good. I was like, damn it. I didn't get what I was thought I was getting. So, let me rearrange this because I'm special. So, like you hang this like this and then you can hang this off of something it's supposed i think it's supposed to be for like your cabinets but um anyways you get two in a bat this is good i open this up and i'm like damn it there's only one in here this is gonna look stupid but there's two in a thing okay i don't feel so bad about this now it was like nine bucks um and it's got like a velcro -y thingy here Oh, is it sticky? That's sticky too so like you can stick it to things so i thought that was cute i was more so gonna put it on a mirror somewhere not right now though later mirror that mirror that i bought at hobby lobby for ten dollars 90 percent of ten dollars i have a wall of mirrors if they're ten dollars a piece so okay the other thing i got ah i wish i could show you oh, yeah. okay i'm back so the other thing that I did get from LTD Commodities is this. And I thought this here was a really good price. These are wall hanging. There's a hair in my eye. I'm sorry. And people are like, I love how candid you are. You don't, you don't mince words and you don't like cut stuff out. I'm like, no, I'm just lazy and I don't like edit it. So I can, but I don't. So this is a shadow box right and the thing that i thought this was super cool about this is it opens up and there's space back here but this is for kids artwork so my child teacher in the three-year-old classroom sorry some in my eye so she was the former art teacher so she used to like go around and do art for all the kids and now she's like permanently i think i have mascara in my eye so now she's like permanently one of the three, one of the preschool teachers, but she has some really great ideas and they come and she comes home with like with some beautiful artwork that I would like display. So like, this is one of them for a three year old. Like, I think this is really cute, right? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Morgan's not sure either. It might be a cloud. It might not, I don't know what technique it is, but I think it's beautiful. Right? And it's not just because this is my kid. Like, because she made some stuff and I'm like, oh, girl. Mm. But for this one here, there's another one that she has too. Um, and it was a tree. And it was it was like a winter tree scene. And it was like the cutest thing that I'd ever seen. So how's this go in here? So basically, there's a little flap in here. And you slide the artwork in. Well, I'm not showing you, right? So you slide it in, is this gonna go? I think it's gonna go, it might go. I might have to take out the, hold on. I might have to take this thing out. Let me take out the, the mat here instead and let's just 
see if we can shove this on in. Uh -huh. All right. So like, here you go. So this is your kid's artwork and you're like, okay, that's super cute. So now you can put your kid's artwork in here and you can hang it on the wall. And then when she brings home something else that you like, you take this out and then you put the rest of it inside, took the mat and put it in here. And then you can stack them up in here. And I thought that was really cool. So I did pick up two of these, but I really, I really like this idea because now like the ones that are cute, that you can like display and then you can keep them instead of them just going in a drawer and off into the great unknown. So I picked up two of those and those weren't bad. Those were 10 bucks a piece. And I thought like for $10, like I can't get a shadow box for 10 bucks at Hobby Lobby or anywhere else. So then the other piece here is this and it's not open. I don't have scissors. Why would I? I have scissors like over in my toolbox. I don't know what it is. Like everyone in my house is obsessed with my toolbox. I think it's because A, I put my tools back where they belong. Two, I have a wide assortment of tools. And three, I don't want anybody to touch it, which automatically makes it even more compelling. Interesting. I mean, my child. I came in here and she had like a pair of like, like good scissors. I'm like, what are you doing? Get out of here. And then my husband's like, where'd you go in your toolbox? I'm like, get out of my toolbox. So. So this here, it is supposed to be, okay, well you can't see it. Yeah, will post up a picture. It's supposed to be a rustic mug rack with a tray. Um. This is a terrible way to end it. It's not a great picture. There, it's just a, it's not put together. Like I gotta put it together, right? I'll post, I'll throw a picture up of it if I can find it. Anyways, I thought it was cute. Um, so what had happened was, is I made my LTD commodities order and it had to be over a certain amount to get free shipping. And if you didn't get free shipping, it was like, $15 or something and I was like well this is stupid like I might as well buy something else and get free shipping so this was that so I'll post that picture up there so yeah my ongoing more decor stuff a saga I think I think I'm good right now and when I say good I mainly mean I ran out of places to put things so so that's that so I yeah yeah that was it so I hope everybody doing can't talk today. So I hope everybody is doing well. I know this was a little bit longer one. So I hope you all are staying safe and sane and healthy and you're having a great day. Um, but yeah, again, so for my subscribers, thank you so much. Y'all are super awesome. I love you. You're amazing. And for those of you who are not, I'm sure you'll be cool too as soon as you subscribe. So I will see y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.